Good morning, daughter and my fellow friends. My name is Hon Xiaohui, AA16079. Today, I would like to present my research topic about the effect of sodium sulfate in GGBA space concrete. My presentation includes this. Nowadays, there are a lot of the material can be used in the construction, such as concrete. The concrete productions include the material such as cement, water, aggregate, and also the sand. The cement industry has led to the development problem. There are, therefore, some waste material that can be containing the aluminum silica can be used to replace the cement, such as GGBS. GGBS is an agricultural waste come from the iron waste industry as cementation materials. The mission more economic and also properties like strength and durability are enhanced. But high replacement will lead to the low early strength, therefore some activator can be used, such as sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate is an organic salt with white solid that are highly soluble in the water and it can enhance the rate of the hydration. There are some problem occurs when widely use the cement. Firstly, emission of the carbon dioxide. Cement production are allowed 20 million tons and took about 1.2% of the total energy of its year in Malaysia. The fuel combustion emission of carbon dioxide related to the cement production are approximate in total 8% of the global carbon dioxide emissions. Next, the portion of industrial waste concerns, there are 1.2 billion tons of slash material has been accumulated and occupied about 20,000 hectares of land. Thirdly, depletions of natural resources cement production in Malaysia increased to 1,385 thousands of tons in September from 1,278 thousands of tons in August in 2019. From Jinjong Wong, it can be stated that when the amount, adding the amount of the sodium sulfate between 1 to 6 percent, the composition for the third and the then the taste increase. From the Abdullah, the, the sodium sulfate mainly influence the strength developed during early strength and also the latter strength. According to the Kuma, the soluble salts like sodium sulfate and the times of the superpasticizer additions were found to influence the superpasticizer absorption behavior. My score of words in this research is 40% of GGBS as a partial cement replacement with 1 to 5% of sodium sulfate as a chemical activator was studied on the effect of strength and durability of the concrete. My research objectives are in to investigate the effect of sodium sulfate in GGBS based concrete on the workability of the work concrete, and second, to determine the optimum proportions of sodium sulfate in GGBS based concrete to achieve the base performance in terms of the strength, and also to study the durability of GGBS based concrete with sodium sulfate as the chemical activator. My significance of study is to develop sustainable concrete with using GGBS as a partial cement replacement, but due to the low early strength, therefore, the chemical activator is needed, such as sodium sulfate. This kind of the concrete can reduce the environment problems such as landfill, deposit issue, and the water vomit. My research methodology is to identify the problem that after they are doing the material preparation, which is grinding the GGBS into 200 micrometer and doing the sieve analysis. After they are doing the casting and the slum test, the slum high requirement is 75 min plus minus 25 millimeter. And next, the water curing required for 1, 3, and 20x days. After the curing, the testing of the compressive strength, UPV, and the water absorption is needed. The data correction analysis data after the testing and doing the result and report. These are the materials I mix throughout this research. My mixed proportion is 1 to 0.76 to 1.89 to 0.36 as cement, sand, aggregate, and water with 2% of superpasticizer and 1 to 5% of sodium sulfate. The specimen preparation according to the BS1881 part 108 with dimensions 100 with 108 cubes. My experimental detail is slum test according to BS EN12350 or part 2, compressive strength with BS1881 part 116, UPV according to 1881203, and the water absorption test is according to the BS1881 part 122. All the testing is for 1, 3, and 20x days. 
Throughout the experiment, the result data has been analyzed and discussed. From the sieve analysis of cost aggregate, we can know that the cost aggregate is a well grade gravel and the average particle size is 5 to 10 mm. And for the fine, fine aggregate, it also is a well graded sand. And the sample particle sand size is in between 0.3 mm and 0.6 mm. From the result of the XRF, the silica dioxide and the calcium oxide of GGS is lower than the OPC. From the density graph, the density of concrete increases when the concrete edge is increases. The result of the slum test show the slum height decreasing with the doses of the sodium sulfate increase. This is because the addition of the soluble sulfate reduces the absorption amount of supervised sizer. This implies that the sulfate hides the absorption of C3A and therefore less supervised sizer polymer are in op incorporate into hydrate during the first minute of the cement hydration. For the compressive strength, the strength activated GGBS concrete is higher than the control specimen. For the graph, the optimum dose of sodium sulfate for 1 and 3 days is 3% and 4% has a similar compensation compared to the 3%. The low quality of cement combined with the high replacement level of GGBS reduced the formation of CHH gel due to the hydration of OPC, resulting in the lower compressive strength. The optimum doses of sodium sulfate for the 28 state is 4%. The compressive strength of the CSN4 is higher than the control specimen up to 10 MPa. This is because the introduction of the sodium sulfate in early steps speed up the consumption of calcium hydroxide in cement paste made from the porcelain. The amount of calcium hydroxide in GGBS paste decreases. This is easily explained by the fact that GGBS originally has less CaO, which is calcium oxide, in the chemical compositions. And furthermore, the porcelain activity of GGBS signification consumes the calcium hydroxide. It can show that the sodium sulfate was the most effective in reducing the calcium hydroxide level. In addition, the integral produced in porcelain cement paste at the area strength of the hydration is increased with the addition of sodium sulfate. As the sodium ion, as the sulfate ion react with the tricalcium aluminate, the the individual productions were maximized and then tapered off as the individual was transferred to monosulfate. Clearly, the sodium sulfate influenced the individual productions, adapting to improve the aerial strength of the GGBS based concrete. The UPV test was performed as a non destructive test. The, outer, the UPV of all GGBS based concrete was found in the range of 1800 to 4560 meters per second with the additions of sodium sulfate mix and its increase with the edge. The concrete quality of the control specimen is between poor and doubtful, and furthermore, for the activated GGBS concrete, is good and excellent. The rate of the water absorption decreased throughout 1, 3, and 28 days. Control specimen has a higher risk of the water absorption throughout the concrete edge. Moreover, the CSN3 has a lower rate of the water absorption, which is 4.67% and 1.86% throughout the concrete edge, 1 and 3 days, and CSN4 with 1.26% on 28 days. The increase in the rate of the water absorption resulting from the incorporate of the porcelain and the calcium hydroxide constitute is a very low rate. From the porcelain reaction, the calcium hydroxide reacts with the silica to produce the secondary CH gel. The more CH gel produced to fill in the void of the concrete and make the internal structure more packed together and the void decrease. When addition of the sodium sulfate increases the rate of the dissolution of the calcium hydroxide, while increasing the rate of the bosonary reactions and decreasing the rate of the water absorption. For the concrete period 1, 3 and also 28 days, the R square value compared to the compressive strength and the UPV is 0 0.932, 0.8474 and 0 0.7608. And it can be said that the compressive strength can be accounted for by the exponent relationship with UPV between 76% and 93%. And for the compressive and the water absorption, 
the R square value is 0 0.7499, 0 0.7568, and also 0 0.9042 throughout the 1, 3, and 20x day. In the last shell, addition of sodium sulfate in GGBS phase concrete generally decreases the workability of the concrete as in where the sodium sulfate infuse the superpesticide absorption behavior. Activations with the minimum 3% of sodium sulfate improve the early strength and 4% increase the improve the dense state strength. As the sodium sulfate doesn't increase, the compensation also decreases. All activators GGBS concrete mix show the twenty X day UPV value exceeding four thousand meter per second, as it indicates the concrete was a good quality. The rate of the water absorption has a cross relationship with the compressive strength due to its poor structure that can influence the strength of the concrete. Therefore, the addition of the sodium sulfate has influenced the mechanical and the durability properties of the concrete to match the concrete quality factor. My recommendations are we can propose the effect of higher replacement percentage of GGBS on its various engineering properties such as internal structure properties. Secondly, using the, the other query methods on various engineering properties of GGBS concrete and its effect. And thirdly, investigate the long-term durability study on chemical resistivity of the concrete through rapid correct test, sulfate attack and the acid resistance. Lastly, study the fire resistance of the concrete to determine the concrete power to be used. And any question that can be asked me by using this contact. For my schedule of the work, I have the, um, the introduction, literature review, and the methodology during the first semester of 1920. For this semester, I have spent two weeks for the preparation of material and spent around eight weeks to do the casting, testing, and collect the data. After that, I had done the result analysis, discussion, and the conclusion before this presentation. Thank you.